Welcome, welcome back to tutorial number nine, where we're introducing 3D compositing. Okay, this is arguably my favorite part, and today it's going to be a shorter video because we're going to go through the basics of compositing inside of uh, Fusion. Okay, so uh, first thing we want to do is to uh, this is the same viewer you're used to. Okay, uh, can make it single or two viewers. Okay, and first thing I'm going to do is actually bring in few elements this earth diff and this grid okay so now if we, if we view them we can view this here okay and this these are two simple tiff files right so now we want to convert them into 3d first thing you have to do to convert anything into 3d you have to add a plane or a 3d shape okay so I'm gonna go here on my media in and in this toolbar here I'm gonna click on uh, shape 3d okay and once I view that here, now you can see, let me go settings here, reset default, that we have a, um, our, our image here is in 3D space, okay? And let me do also something real quick. Let's rename this to Earth, okay? And then this is our grid and you can see it's in 2d because we haven't added a shape 3d but once we do that as well it's and then we view it now it's in 3d space and i can go here on settings and then reset default okay to see them both now um before i get further uh to navigate in in 3d space basically you can go in either viewer okay so this is in this instance i'm using this earth for my viewer one and then Number two, actually, let's rename as well. Oh, sorry, here on rename, and let's call it grid. Okay, so we know which one is which. Okay, so uh, once you hover over this viewer by holding the middle mother, middle about middle mouse button, um, you can basically pan. Okay, this is how you pan. Hold the middle button in your mouse and you can pan okay now if you hold command and with the scroll wheel you go up and down that's how you zoom in and out and if you hold option and hold middle uh, mouse right you can orbit okay rotate around your objects or planes or whichever one okay so once again um, command scroll out in zoom in and zoom out okay with your scroll wheel option hold middle mouse button you can orbit and then just holding middle mouse button you pan okay to reset it to default right click settings reset to default okay you can do the same thing here by the way see same exact thing perfect and then right click settings reset default okay awesome um Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do now is to, um, basically, if I view them, the, you view them separately. The issue here is that they, they're not in the same world. They're basically independent. One is on his own world and the other one is in, in his own world. We need to basically put them in the same universe, in the same world. How do we do that? Well, it's very similar to the 2D way of doing it. It's through a merge, okay? The only difference is that the merge 3D can have as many uh, images or objects or etc as you want it's not limited to, to to just the merge 2d where you had only like background and foreground so that's the difference so I'm gonna go here on shape 3d and then add my merge here merge 3d okay and then I'm gonna connect my shape 3d one to my foreground here on my merge 3d now once I view it look what happens now we have both elements integrated in one okay let me do that viewer one and what I'm going to do here is to, okay, go a little bit like that. All right, so awesome. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is to, uh, basically, we're going to create a few planets, okay? And we're gonna have sort of a moon orbiting around our planet Earth, okay? So first, they need to rotate, okay? So let me start with the, let me start with the, grid okay so change the shape here on controls to sphere wow that's big so 
we are going to go at 0.2 okay so it's a little smaller now you can see by the way you have available on both viewers so we can see that and this button here allows you to activate lighting and I like to work better like this See? okay so now um, now that we did that let's do the same for our sphere here and change its size to uh, to change its shape sorry to a sphere okay and then on my merge okay, so this is sphere this is sphere sorry I needed to change the shape 3d one that was already changed okay so radius and this radius is at one so now you can see it's really big and that's how we want it because our moon is smaller than our planet so uh, what we're gonna do next is to move now the moon out so I'm gonna go here on my merge and then on this red we're gonna go on my shape 3d um, and on this red button we're just gonna move it out okay so you can always hold option and then move it out uh, uh, alternatively what I like to do is go like that then so now you have a nice view of everything okay and here on the other viewer you can kind of see a different angle of it okay see okay perfect so uh, the distance looks right to me maybe it can do a little more there okay perfect uh, now if I play the clip nothing is happening. So let's start animating things. Okay, rather than keyframing I'm going to add expressions. That means that I'm going to start with my uh, My planet planet earth here, and I am going to go on transform and then we are going to basically we need our planet to rotate, right? So let's add a expression here to about one Okay, and that should okay our planet now it's rotating you can see that okay let's copy the same values to our moon as well okay so i am going to uh, go back to my planet and then uh, pin it here and then go my shape 3d transform and we are going to add an expression and then let's connect the two Okay. My okay, perfect. And now it should be connected. And you can see that as well now. You can see it here that the grid moon slash moon is rotating as well. Okay. Um, it, I need the grid to rotate a little faster though because it, it's not going fast enough. So to do that, I am going back to, to our. Uh, expression here and then let's uh, yeah let's double it okay times two and now it should be twice as fast yes and this looks much better now okay uh, okay so perfect now we do have two um, planets we have earth and the grid moon here they're rotating uh, now we need to make the moon orbit around our planet okay how do we do that All right so in order to do that I am going to add a transform node um, a transform 3d node okay so I'm gonna type it here transform 3d add it okay and now uh, we can basically uh, oh, let me unpin this because it's following me everywhere okay so uh, and now we should have uh, here I am going to add an expression again to our rotation and I am going to I would say 1.5 okay so now let's play the clip and you can see now that through the transform the pivot here it pivots around and it basically um, or, uh, orbits around our earth okay um, the thing is that I don't want the animation to start at the um, at the at that specific angle here I want to move in 90 degrees towards me towards the camera here so in order to do that I am going to add here just simply minus 90 to our expression and that should move 
asteroid moves our planet now right in front of us okay it was here then minus 90 it's right by us now okay perfect awesome so now next thing I'm gonna do now is to let's go a little bit wider on this one actually something like that so we can see what's happening and uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna move a little bit like that and then the camera sort of like this sort of like that okay okay right about here maybe here there we go and what I'm going to do next uh, by the way you can see also the advantage here of working with the uh, with two viewers because you have different uh, ways of, of seeing the scene okay when you're in 3d since you have depth now it's much more important to see to have different views you also have the option to go quad view here okay if that was the case by activating that and you can see many different um, ways okay on um, on your viewer okay perfect so um, what I'm gonna do next now it's add lighting uh, so let's bring a uh, merge 3d another one so let's move all this here and let's add light to it so we go here on effects so you go here on tools 3d light okay and you have your your uh, lighting here and I am going to add a directional light okay and we can close that and then connect that to our merge and you can see that off the bat we don't have um, any lights available and that's because by default it lighting doesn't carry from merge to merge okay in order to activate that I'm gonna go on my merge 3d 2 that I just created and I'm gonna say pass through lights once I click on it we have our light back now we have our directional light so let's fix it a little bit on our directional light we are going to go click on it and then on the transform let's um, modify a little bit the parameters here I'm gonna move the Y to be sort of like that and then move the X to kind of point to kind of point there okay and the X can be somewhere by the way I'm using both viewers to see how to move around okay so something like that okay and now we can see that some parts are dark okay uh, one part is in the shadows one part is a little brighter um, to fix that I'm gonna click again on my merge 3d2 effects and I'm gonna add a ambient light here okay and let me close that and the ambient light now sh uh, evens out the the scene okay um, so if I go here on my intensity I can increase that to 0.3 and you can see we're a little brighter more like even bright rather than that directional strong light uh, perfect and uh, awesome now that we've done that we have something uh, the issue is still that we need to uh, our planets and moon are moving but our scene is just too static so let's animate the scene um, to do that I am going to add an actual camera here okay and you can see that once I add the camera by default this thing pops up this is the view of the actual camera but we haven't moved the camera so it's inside our sphere so that's what is seen right now okay so I'm gonna go back to perspective on my viewer here and what I'm going to do next is to uh, right click and then go on copy POV to camera 3d1 Okay, click OK and then right click again and then say camera 3d1 now I'm gonna go to this viewer again and here what we're going to do now we're gonna zoom out okay and now we have a full view of what is happening in our scene so let's add a keyframe to our cameras transform here on our translation Z add a keyframe then let's go to the end of the scene and now let's move with the z-axis back and you can see as I'm moving this on the large scene 
you can see that reflected on viewer two. Okay, so we can do something like that. Okay, just to show it. And now, once we view it, okay, look, the scene is played out for us. Okay, I can show it to you a little bit bigger. Okay, and this is really the power of three D and what you what you're able to do with three D, and um, really the sky is the limit I mean you can place lights and movement camera movements that you know you would have such a hard time to pull off on set etc uh, with with 3d you're basically able to to do so much and have so much control over your scene now you can also um, this is just a simple um, dolly out let's call it like that um, but you can all also um, tweak other parameters here and we can let me go back to a dual viewer here um, we can also start at the beginning of the scene actually start it like that and then you can play it and have something like maybe the camera comes into the scene or even start um, I'm gonna add also a keyframe on X and Y, and then let's do something like that. Okay, camera comes up. Okay, and then at the end here, you can tweak those parameters as well. Maybe it goes up a bit, and this side. Okay. So now look, what happens is that you're animating sort of different moves, okay? And as I said, even with the moves, the, the sky is really the limit. You have so many ways of doing different things, okay, with, with 3D. Uh, that's, that's the power of 3D. Uh, and let me do one last thing here. Uh, I want to replace our moon here uh, from this grid here let's delete that now you see it's a solid object here I am going to bring in the moon tiff here then let me close this and let's rename this to moon Oop. okay press ok and then once we connect that all right you can see that now we have the moon shape okay texture here on our and we can look at the scene again okay and this is lesson 9 this is just the basics of 3d animation in the next tutorial we're actually going to create a breaking news world uh, world like uh, animation and um, motion graphics okay and in that lesson we're gonna go a little bit more in depth on the things you can do and basically yeah so this is the introduction just to get you started with um, 3d compositing in my opinion this is what makes fusion uh, above uh, more powerful for, for compositing but 3d compositing um, than after effects it's, it's that power there uh, with most motion graphics I, I still think that after effects is definitely the way to go for the most part um, and uh, obviously plugins etc that's much more stuff there but when it comes to actually uh, doing 3d um, it, like working in the 3d space uh, fusion is, is unparalleled you know um, fusion nuke of course nuke and fusion become really powerful um, tools okay Perfect. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial and I will see you on the next one, which is, well, part 10 already and where we are going to go a little bit more in depth with this. I'll see you on the next one.